Ben Simmons, the number one player in the ESPN 100. Committed to LSU as a sophomore, signed back in November, ready to make a splash in the college hoops world next season. Played in the McDonald's All-American Game, Nike Hoop Summit, won a championship with Mott Verde, Dix National, three-time MVP, three-time national champion. Ben Simmons joins us now here on Recruiting Nation. Ben, how would you describe this past month for you? Um, I think it's been crazy for me. Uh, I've been traveling so much and, um, you know, all over the country from uh, McDonald's to uh, the Hoop Summit and the uh, Dix National. So uh, I think it's just been a really busy but uh, enjoyable uh, last few months. After competing with and against some of the nation's best high school seniors, what did you learn about your own game? Um, that I just have to keep working and improving my game. Um, I've played against, you know, the top players now, so... You know, all these guys are, you know, trying to take that spot away from uh, from me. But uh, for me, it's just trying to improve my game every day and uh, just get stronger and uh, work on the little things. As the number one ranked player, what kind of target did you feel that, that you've had on your back when you've stepped onto the court for these games? Um, every game's a challenge. Everyone's coming off that spot. But uh, overall, I think just playing at Montverde Academy, um, you're used to it. Uh, being a top team, uh, every every team comes out to get that win, and, and it's their championship game. So uh, it's been one of those things that you kind of have to prepare for every game. Ben, for those who haven't followed your recruitment, may just getting to know you right now, walk us through your decision to go to LSU. Well, uh, my decision to go to LSU was pretty easy for me. Um, my godfather, Dave Patrick, is there, and uh, I feel really comfortable uh, being coached by Johnny Jones. He's a, he's a great coach and a, a family guy. And I, I felt like that's another family for me there. And uh, having Antonio Blakeney and uh, Brandon Sampson come along with me as freshmen, I think that's really big. And uh, I'm just looking forward to get there. What about your journey to being the number one ranked player? You came, started playing in the States as a sophomore. Then you became the number one player. How did you do it? It's just hard work, um, playing the game the way I know how to play, and that's just playing as a team. Um, my, my goal is always to win, and I think the, the accolades that have come with it is just, you know, it's just, I've just been blessed with uh, the opportunity to win so many awards and, uh, and championships with Montverde. So I think it's just, you know, going out and having one goal, and that's to win. You saw the number one player in the 2014 class, Jaleel Okafor, win, leading Duke to a national championship as a true freshman. As you watched that happen, what went through your mind about what you might be able to do as the number one player in this class? Uh, you know, I didn't think about it too much. Um, you know, wherever I go, my goal is to win. And uh, as many games as we can win at LSU, that's, that's the goal. So every time we step out on the court, I know uh, we're all going to be prepared and ready to take on every challenge that we're faced with. You mentioned your other co-signees there with LSU. You've got guards Antonio Blakeney, Brandon Sampson, who you mentioned, pair of top 40 players. How would you describe this tandem that will be joining you in Baton Rouge? I think it's going to be great. We have uh, two guys who are coming in who know how to play the game and can score. And uh, I think I'm the type of player who just loves feeding up the energy of the other guys and giving them the ball and seeing them hit shots. You know, that motivates me to uh, play hard. And then we have Keith Hornsby, uh, Tim Quarterman, and Jalen Patterson, who I've you know, watched for a while and played with Jalen. So um, I know we have a really good group and talented group, and everyone's uh, willing to put the work in to win. Uh, are you actively still recruiting other players to join you at LSU? Uh, you know, I, I talked to a few guys, but at the same time, I'm, I'm trying to focus on what we have going now. And uh, I know Antonio and Brandon are just preparing to get there for the season and uh, make sure we take care of business. You know, Kentucky's been at the top there in the SEC, Florida as well. But uh, Kentucky's certainly been the, the team of the last few seasons there with Coach Calipari. Do you look at Kentucky now with their departures as a team that is ripe for the picking and LSU, the right team to step in there? Um, you know, me going into college, uh, it's always new. You have to try and adjust and things like that. But uh, as soon as I get there, the goal has been the same from uh, since I was a sophomore, and that's to win. So uh, every team in the SEC is in the way. And uh, I think, you know, Antonio and Brandon and all those guys agree that uh, it's not just one team we're focused on. It's the whole SEC and uh, past that. He is the number one player in all the land in the ESPN 100. Ben Simmons headed for LSU. Ben, thanks for joining us. Congratulations and good luck in Baton Rouge. Thank you very much.